now, Fox 66 Sports with Jay Pushkar. Good evening. After earning All-American honors with the Edinburgh football program, a Division I grad transfer opportunity has former Scott Walter Fletcher on the brink of making it to the NFL. In part two of his story, Mike Fenner reports on Fletcher's final season of college football after a jump to the next level. The Columbia, Maryland native had few offers coming out of high school, but after spending time in both Division III and then in the PSAC at D2 with the Fighting Scots, Fletcher felt like he had the chance to go pro with one more move. Setting personal records with my teammates and just having fun with those guys for four years was just an unforgettable experience. And um, as far as on my way out, um, I knew that I wanted to play at the Division I level, so I reached out to Coach Bradford. You know, I told him that you know, I was thinking about leaving. And that next move? Enter Ball State. And I started emailing schools, and the Ball State connection came from Coach Lustig. He was the running back coach at Ball State, and that was the first school I thought of. Former Edinburgh head coach Justin Lustig's previous stop helped make the connection for the 2018 PSAC West Offensive Player of the Year. Also read up on them that their running back did a grad transfer, so they were looking for an older guy to come in and contribute right away. So I knew that it was the perfect fit, and you know I called Coach Lynch, and it was mutual interest, and I think... It was just a great decision overall, and it worked out. And Fletcher spent this past fall as a grad transfer contributing for the Cardinals and gaining more exposure in the MAC in hopes of getting drafted into the NFL. He had great hands, uh, unbelievable pass catcher out of the backfield. Um, we did a lot in the empty package with him. He was a, a matchup nightmare for any outside linebacker or any middle linebacker. And if you look at what Ball State did with him, at least at the beginning, as they kind of integrated him into the offense, he had a lot of success uh, catching the football and yard after catch and um, he was a great pass uh, blocker as well tough competitive uh, would step up and block somebody so he had the whole package playing in 12 games with two starts at running back at Ball State Fletcher racked up 726 yards rushing with 26 catches for 306 yards receiving and seven touchdowns including a season high 156 yards rushing in a start against Ohio I showed that I could come in on third down and contribute and uh, make plays at the division one level that I can just play at any level you know and um, as far as the highlight of my season, I think my first game playing against Indiana and scoring a touchdown, Lucas Oil, was a highlight of my year because it just showed that I could play at a high level. And, you know, it, at that moment, I just felt like I belong and, you know, I'm happy to be there. Even without a chance to compete at the NFL Scouting Combine or having a traditional pro day, the former Edinburgh All-American remains optimistic about his chances to make it to the NFL whether he hears his name called this April or not. I was in Norcross, Georgia, training with Chip Smith the past two months, and I'm just working on, you know, pro day things, such as your 40, three cone, short shuttle, you know, trying to get stronger. And um, I was training with a lot of top guys, you know, such as Jalen Hurts. That was one of the guys I worked out with. And, um, you know, I put on eight pounds, so I feel good right now. Um, went down there, got my 40 time down, got stronger and faster. So overall, you know, I was very happy with the process. And um, right now, just trying to adjust to this coronavirus, so I've been trying to just stay in shape, you know, by myself, working out, running every day, and, you know, just trying to make sure that I'm prepared to start camp whenever that time is.